almost out. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. What did I tell you on the phone? What did I tell you earlier? I told you to stay away from me, Stella. Didn't I? Yes or no? Yes. Exactly. And you see what happens when you come around me. Bad things have... Shut up. Bad things happen. All right? You need to stay away from me. If you value your own physical well-being, stay away from me. This is not going to end well for you, man. I promise you. Don't speak. I'm trying to help you. Stay away. Okay? Don't care. Help you. Stay away from me. Hunter Law, you took our belts. You made me lose my self-confidence. And I recently just like lost my passion for this. You had to stoop so low to beat us for our belts when I know the exact wrestler you are. You and I are kind of alike in the ring. I know how you are. And funny enough, every single person who has ever cheated me, I've trained with. And you're one of them. Hunter Law, May 11th comes. It's you and me for your movement championship. I'm coming in with nothing. I'm coming in with no confidence, no smile, no belts. You're up here. Hunter Law, you're not getting Dale Springs. You're not getting Kevin Bradshaw. You're going to get the kid who, since six years old, wanted to do this shit. You're getting the kid who had a dream to be a professional wrestler. You're getting Brad Goodrich in that ring. You're going to get the kid who's going to kick your ass. Hunter Law, you're going to lose it all. I'm going to see you May 11th. Wrestling 225 family, welcome to Unleashed. I'm Spencer alongside Landon, and we are here in Cecilia, Louisiana for the finale of Movement 6. That is exactly right, and what a time we have had. We have a brand new general manager in Pro Wrestling 225, Spencer. Absolutely right, an exciting time, but the excitement continues tonight in our main event as Hunter Law, one half of the Pro Wrestling 225 Tag Team Champions, goes one-on-one -on -one with Dale Springs for the Movement Wrestling Championship. This is an incredibly important moment in the trajectory of the career of Dale Springs. Dale says he's not walking into this match as Dale Springs, as Kevin Bradshaw. This is Brad tonight. We're gonna see it for the Movement Championship but also women's division action tonight to kick things off in Pro Wrestling 225 Unleashed as the daughter of the damned, Kelsey Reagan, goes one-on-one -on -one with Brooklyn Barrett tonight. New blood in Pro Wrestling 225, thanks to Movement Wrestling. What a beautiful partnership. I cannot wait to see what's next for these two. Hey, two new women wrestlers in 225, sign me up. It's gonna be an action-packed show. We can't wait for you to see it. Let's go ahead and get Unleashed.
Quite what? a surprising entrance there from Brooklyn Barrett making her Close. Pro Wrestling 225 debut. And we are joined here at ringside for this incredible women's matchup with the longtime voice of Louisiana, Bryce Boudreaux. Landon, Spencer, it's an honor to be here. I, I was just in the neighborhood. I can't believe it, uh, but here I am. Lucky us. <laughs> Yeah, it's truly an honor, guys. We are more than glad to have you. Obviously, longtime ring announcer for Pro Wrestling 225. Uh, and, you know, obviously we've got Alexis Windsor now, but we know you are doing incredible, incredible things. Yeah, we, we love Lexi. Uh, but obviously very, very proud of, of you and all of the growth of your career. Yeah. Doing incredible things. Thanks for taking the time to hang out with us. Hey, thanks, guys, so much. You know, I'm all over the place. Lexi's killing it. She's holding it down. She's holding, you got to announce a couple times, too. Yeah. She's holding it down. She's holding down the board over here. I could not be any more proud of helping Lexi Spencer uh, doing a great job here as we get ready for our women's action here for wrestling 225. Guys, by the way, interesting statistic. I haven't sat at the commentary table here for wrestling 225 since 2018. It's been a long time. You picked an exciting time to come back to the commentary table as we're getting not one but two debuts in the women's division, including the daughter of the dam, Kelsey Reagan, right here at Movement 6. Kelsey Reagan, an interesting competitor. I've had the honor and privilege to announce her a couple times. One time actually during WrestleMania week in Dallas, Dallas Texas. Yeah. Right. So, uh, well, and, and a very accomplished wrestler, especially in Texas. Yes. Kelsey Reagan all sorts of championships and accolades and it's so so exciting to see her bring her talent here to 225. Absolutely currently one half of the Shine Tag Team Champions so glad to have her in Pro Wrestling 225. This is going to be a hell of a show man movement bringing in the new blood I love this. Competitors getting set here our official DJ Petrie. Senior official by the way. Senior official. Absolutely. Love DJ. It's great singing today. He calls it right down the middle, Daddy. Yeah, I think DJ actually was the referee between Lincoln and John Wilkes Booth, I believe. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, in, the, in the prehistoric ages, DJ was out there. He was working around the, uh, the whole area. Uh, but he, he does a great job. Senior official, and as we lock up here to open up this match. That's right. Kelsey Reagan, oftentimes the size advantage uh, is in Reagan's corner, and you see it here now. Stiff side headlock here on Brooklyn Barrett to get things started. Landon, what's the most important thing here for both of these women as they look to make an impact in their first real statement in the 225 women's division? That's exactly right. You've got to impress. I think maybe getting a quick victory, doing something that's going to catapult you to the top of the ranks. Challenge for the women's championship here in Pro Wrestling 225. You could have an early submission. Yeah, Barrett okay, got out of it. Very strong there with the legs, but Reagan yeah. persistent right back to that side headlock. You know, if you ask me, maybe one of these needs to uh, hit, a, hit a game over, impress the general, wow. the new general manager. Really? That's right. That's Unbelievable. Right. Look at this, Reagan. But Barrett ducks under as well. Standing switch there from Reagan. Whips off. Barrett across and a bit of a stalemate. How <laughs> about that? Really smart for Barrett, Barrett to hold the ropes and not go running back to the waiting Reagan. Reagan trying to fire this crowd up. This crowd's excited to see some women's action here. Absolutely. It's been a great night yeah. here at Movement 6 so far. It feels good to come back to this area. You know, there's been a lot of great wrestling history in this part of the state. Absolutely. It's good just to come back and kind of give this area a, uh, more of like an injection of life, man. It's, it's been kind of, uh, kind of quiet. We're back here. We're doing a big Pro Wrestling 225 movement coming together. I believe this is our first time coming together for an event. Pro Wrestling 225 and, and uh, Pro Wrestling movement. Uh, so, uh, a huge merger, Bryce, like you said, and, and oh. we're seeing the benefits of that merger here with this women's action. Both Ooh. two debuting stars. Like as Kelsey Reagan comes across, but Brooklyn Barrett, I think very, very smartly. Ring awareness. Yeah, that's Ring one awareness. of the things I've been most impressed with from Brooklyn Barrett here early on in her career. Brooklyn Barrett, only 19 years of age, wow. but 19. still has been able to get oh. win after win. And look at this chop here on the veteran Kelsey Reagan. 
And Bryce, I think at that point, you've been ring announcing for six years when you were 19. Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kelsey Reagan returns the favor with the chop there to Barrett. Bringing the action to the outside here to the guardrail. Oh, wow! Oh. Straight to the steel post. Reagan goes hitting hard there. Tell you what, steel posts and human skull, steel posts gonna win every time. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's permanent brain damage if you hit it hard enough. Not holding anything back. Both of these women looking to stake their claim here in Pro Wrestling 225. Of course, glamorous amorous Blair is our women's oh, champion. Heads up. That could have been it right there. She's gonna get the cover. Here we go. One official in perfect position. And a kick joke. out. How about that? Impressive again from the 19-year-old Barrett. 19-year-old, wow, incredible. It's an early start in this career. I got a feeling she's gonna have to go. Extremely impressive is Barrett. And gonna hit every turnbuckle pass. Introducing Reagan to the turnbuckles. Look at this double stomp right to the spine. Well, I think the smart thing about what Barrett's doing is she knows she's at a size disadvantage, but she's done a very good job of bringing Reagan down to her level. Now gonna use every piece of the ring to her advantage. Gets a five count here. <laughs> Look at this, almost mocking Reagan as she's trying to reach out to the 225 family for help. Hard shot to the sternum, that'll slow her momentum. Only momentarily though. Now Reagan back into the corner. What does Barrett have in mind here? Charges forward, but Reagan able to avoid it. And now big four shots. Big four shots. And this time it's Barrett that's able to move out of the way. It's steam ahead, but nobody home. And now Barrett able to get back on top here. And again, brings Kelsey Reagan down. You know, Brooklyn, uh, with less experience than Kelsey Reagan, you couldn't tell that at all. Uh, Brooklyn looks fantastic in this match against a better one than Kelsey Reagan. In firm control as she Irish whips Reagan to the corner. Reagan bounces off, missile drop kick. And, and sometimes, Bryce, right, when you are- Oh, double knees. Double knees. When you don't have that much experience, you don't know right. to be intimidated by someone standing well, across from you, right? She's putting the entire locker room on notice. I guarantee everybody's she is. watching this on the in the back. It's, it's, uh, she's definitely showing who she is. It's kind of two. Kelsey Reagan, like I said, veteran. She's performed all over this country, everywhere in fact. And, uh, I, you know, I'm not 100% sure, guys. Look at your history books. Is this Kelsey Reagan's Pro Wrestling 225 debut? I know it she, is. Wow. It is. I think Absolutely. she might have performed for for uh, for movement in the past. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, so it's kind of like you're getting a taste of movement wrestling. Pro Wrestling 225. Exactly. exactly right. Oh, oh man! Right to the temple. Barrett just got a taste of Reagan's boot. Kelsey needs to get some. Emotion back, she needs to get some aggression back in this match. She's got to come back and kind of down on the uh, better half of this match. On the down slope here, but maybe the opening that she needed. There you go. Set up. Oh, what a close, close line. line. And there's another one from Reagan. Barrett now, the one uh -oh. backing into the corner. Huge running European uppercut there. Kick nice to the job. midsection. And a knee. Reagan on sweep. the attack. Oh, Barrett that, was able to move the first time, not this time. That was nasty. That could have put her out, put her out right there. Got her up. Fireman's carry position here. Nice job. Beautiful. And, and another one. Here we go. And a kick Man, out at two. In two. California, guys. You couldn't get any closer to it than that. No kidding. But Reagan now, for the first time, seems to be in control of this matchup. Incredibly impressive showing from both of these women. Historical building here, guys. Cecilia Junior High School, home to a lot of good wrestling in the past. Definitely. Elevate Pro, movement wrestling. Oh, hard forearm. Definitely. Kelsey Reagan back stays on her feet and returns it. <laughs> that knocked her back. You can tell who the better is. Again, smartly moves right. out of the way. And look at that. Look at Rolls right. on from yeah. the clothesline into a DDT. Rolls and that might cover. be enough. Cover on Reagan. No, a kick out. That one was close, too. Yeah. Two in California, guys. That's right. Two in California. You couldn't get any closer to it than that. Strong, strong showing from both of these women here. <laughs> Another strong forearm. forearm from Kelsey Reagan. He's got her up. 
scoop and a slam. Oh, with a sit down. Michinoku driver. And Barrett gets a shoulder up at the last second. Reagan can barely believe it. DJ is an expert official. You cannot argue with his officiating skills. He knows what he's calling. That's see Reagan trying to put the pieces together to put away Brooklyn Barrett. Feeding off the Pro Wrestling 225 family here as she whips Barrett across. Comes back the other way. That momentum. Wait, gets, gets caught. No, able to go all the way around. Look at this octopus stretch. That might be it. I think that's gotta be it. There's no way you can get out of that. In the absolute dead center of the ring could spell the end for Kelsey Reagan. Nowhere for her to go. She'll have to verbally submit. There's no way she can even reach the mat. Absolutely, official Petrie in perfect position to see. Uh -oh. Reagan all the way down, but wait. Shoulders, Shoulders are down. down. Shoulders are down, this could be a no. Wow. What an escape. Incredibly intelligent ring awareness there, getting Barrett's shoulders on the mat. Barrett, that's the only way that hole was going to be broken. Ring awareness, exactly. Brooklyn Barrett showing who she's about here tonight. Having a great match, a great showing. This small package, two. Down Trying to, two. to take Barrett off of her game and the roll up. Only a two count, but transitions right into it, right into a cross face. And now it's Barrett in trouble. Hard to get out of the cross face. Got to find her way to the ropes. D what? Oh, I know that sound. Oh, I know that sound. This is bad news. It's about to happen. Who is this? If it's who I think it is, Kelsey Reagan's in very serious trouble. Oh, oh my god! My god. What the hell is Lucha LaCora doing here? Lucha LaCora? That's Lucha LaCora, guys. That's Lucha LaCora. I haven't seen this guy in, in, in four years. I haven't been in the same building with this guy in a while. What's going on here, guys? He is as deranged as they come. But while Reagan's distracted, we're to go to hell by Barrett, the cover. And Brooklyn Barrett picks up the win in her Pro Wrestling 225 debut. Lucha LaCora, I'm, I'm speechless, guys. I have chills running up my spine, just the near sight of Lucha LaCora. Uh, I don't even know what to say, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly speechless, but a great showing by Brooklyn. It's looking over here. Terrifying. I'm uncomfortable. See that? I'm uncomfortable. These two very clearly know each other. There's got to be some history here. Looks like he just gave some instructions to Barrett. Whoa! A little extracurricular activity for Brooklyn Barrett. Reagan, why? She's got a smile across her face. There's got to be something that's been worked out here between these two. It appears. We've got some history. She's nodding her head, yes. Lucha LaCora has a protege. Lucha LaCora speaks in tongues, guys. I don't, I don't know what kind of conversation they're having. Whatever language LaCora is speaking, Barrett understands it. I haven't seen Lucha LaCora personally in several years. Last time, uh, I was absolutely terrified. That just, uh, I have PTSD from just seeing Lucha LaCora. Terrifying individual, to say the less. But but Brooklyn Barrett, nonetheless, gets the victory in her Pro Wrestling 225 debut. Bryce, thanks for joining us, man. Absolutely. Incredible. I'm here all night, guys. Perfect. I'm here we all love night. that. that Pro Wrestling 225 and Movement Wrestling have joined forces, it has become my responsibility 
as a dual champion to usher in this new era live in Cecilia, Louisiana at Movement 6. And with that responsibility, I have to defend my Movement Championship against Dale Springs. Now, normally I would have been excited to test myself against someone like Dale. If this match happened maybe a year ago, two years ago, because that Dale Springs, that Dale Springs was hungry. That Dale Springs was traveling around the country, testing himself against some of independent wrestling's best. But the Dale Springs of today, not quite the same. It seems to me that this Dale has lost his hunger. His confidence is shaken. It seems to me that this Dale Springs has a case of the yips. And I know this because at Super Gold Day, I took this 225 Tag Team Championship away from him. Teaming with a man that I don't even know. A man that I have never even stepped in the ring with before. But hey, he's since become a friend. Shout out to you, Purple Haze. So what exactly does this 225 Tag Team Championship say about Dale Springs? Not much. <laughs> but when it comes to the Movement Championship, you are looking at the one, the only, and the greatest man to ever hold the gold. So what does this movement championship say about me, Dale? It says that I am exactly as advertised. It says that I am the most rocking. So on May 11th, when you come to my town, when you step to me at my show, you better find that Dale Springs of old. You better dig deep into your soul, reach down deep into your heart, and pull out whatever's left and leave it all in the ring. Because if you don't, I am going to reach down deep and rip your heart out quickly and efficiently enough so you can see how empty it is before I stomp it out. Dale Springs at Movement 6 on May 11th. You are going to come to the realization that you don't have it anymore. Because Hunter Lau has it all. There you see Dale Springs getting set for his main event championship match against the movement champion Hunter Law. But first, we're going to take you to earlier tonight with a special report from our colleague Alexis Windsor. Jordan. Hey, Jordan, can I grab a word? We have. Yeah. I just. Oh my goodness. I, I almost don't have words. What an emotional return for you here at Pro Wrestling 225. Now I know. It was a loss for you tonight, but up against your friend, still friend, I think, looking at the end of that match, Braxton Hunter. How are you feeling tonight? I don't know that. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, SEC title, coming back. It, it sucks. I'm not a champion. Christian is not a champion. But at least Brett's doing good for himself. You know, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, is if there's anybody I want to lose to, it would either be Christian Blake or Braxton Hunter. And it doesn't matter, Brax, I love you no matter what. I knew it was me the whole time. And bruh, I promise, pillar, over boys, family, friends, whatever you need, man, I got you. Even if it's just, just to rough somebody up. But you know what? Even for one second, I just felt magical out there. Doesn't matter if I won, it doesn't matter if I lost. I 
I think that spark is back. So we're gonna get ready to light this stuff on fire. I'll catch you around, Lex. What a moment for that man right there. Some know him as Dale Springs. Some know him as Bradshaw. But tonight, it's Brad Goodrich coming for the Movement Championship. Notice Brad is going it alone. No Alex Braddock at his side, no Braxton Hunter, no Pillar. It is all about Brad tonight and his journey towards the movement championship. And he's facing the man that took the tag team championship from him alongside Purple Haze and Hunter Law tonight in our main event. And walking out to the tune of the White Stripes, this is very personable, guys. I mean, Brad rocking his favorite LSU baseball jersey. He's a big LSU baseball fan. Absolutely. Fun fact, Brad started his career before me as an announcer here in the town of Cecilia. No Lincoln. way. That's a fact for you then. A lot of history. But here comes one half of the Pro Wrestling 225 Tag Team Champions. And of course, the Movement Wrestling Champion. It's Hunter Law. Talk about a man that knows a thing or two about championship matches and main events. Hunter Law wins title after title everywhere he goes, as evident from answering the open challenge at Super Gold 8 alongside Purple Haze and taking those tag team championships away from the pillar. This thing is personal tonight. Hunter Law said that this Dale Springs is not the same Dale Springs from a year ago, not the same Dale Springs from two years ago. He says that Dale Springs has lost his hunger, has lost his confidence. And Brad Goodrich in the ring. Very sweet of it. Wow. You know what, guys? He's right. I'm actually shocked that he did that. That's a fact, guys. Look, Hunter Law, trained by Jay Lethal, one of the greatest wrestlers I've ever had the privilege of announcing in my wrestling career. The first time I ever met Hunter Law was right here in Cecilia, Louisiana, from right up the road, Arnonville. This is his home. His parents are going to be in the crowd tonight. His brother, Brandon Law, somewhere around here. One of the most accomplished wrestlers I've ever met. Alexis Winsor to set the stage. The following contest is scheduled for one call with a 60 minute time limit. And it is for the Movement Wrestling Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Prairieville, Louisiana, bringing a 220 pounds. The kid. The kid with a dream from Prairieville. Unbelievable. I've, I've never seen this side of Brad. Still paying homage to his brethren in the pillar. And his opponent from Arnold, Louisiana. He is one half of the Pro Wrestling 225 Tag Team Champion.
Man, Lexi, Lexi's got that down. Alexis Windsor, incredible rock entrance. I love to hear. Absolutely. Holding down the fort. Yep. But tonight, guys, it's all about Hunter Law and Brad Goodrich. I can't believe it. Brad Goodrich. Right. We're going to find out exactly what Brad Goodrich still has in the tank. Can he refine his purpose in this movement wrestling championship? Or is Hunter Law going to sink Brad even lower than before? That's what it's all about right there. Pro Wrestling Movement Championship. This Main is. event of Movement 6 is underway. Hunter Law, Brad Goodrich, guys, for the Movement title. Both these guys so accomplished in their careers. Hunter gonna take a breather. Look, Hunter Law is exuding more confidence than I think I've ever seen him. So uh, my question here for both of you gentlemen is, is this a strategy? Is this mind games from Hunter Law? Or is he actually this confident that he has all the tools that it takes to beat Brad tonight? I gotta tell you, Landon, I, I think it's all confidence from Hunter Law. Now, do I think, as we see Brad Goodrich on the other side, got on the Hunter Law vest? He looks pretty good in that. Personalities are we gonna see tonight from Brad? <laughs> We've seen them all, <laughs> seen them all. Guy, it's just unbelievable. I have to pinch myself. I cannot believe we're actually seeing Brad Goodrich, not Dale Spring oh. or anything else. Right. Wow. Disrespect. It's a little bit much. I think I think it is. I don't necessarily see that coming from Hunter. Oh, oh is he looking at oh. it? Oh. That wouldn't have been, been accepted like four years ago. You don't know where those have been? I think Hunter Law. Part of this stepping outside of the ring, taking his time, it's really about riding this first emotional wave from Brad Goodrich as now they look to tie it up in the center wow. of the ring. Very impressive takedown here, and look, Brad turn, returns the favor. Both these guys, expert technicians. No doubt. And if Hunter Law is going to say that Brad Goodrich doesn't have it anymore, I think Brad's gonna take every chance he gets to show Hunter Law just how much he's got left. That's one of the first matches I've ever seen in this, in this business. It was right around here in Cecilia, Louisiana, in person. It was Hunter Law, it was Brandon Law, Cecilia High School Gymnasium, right down the road. Elevate Pro back in the day. I wouldn't even announce it. And actually, guess who announced that bout? Brad Goodrich. <laughs> he was the announcer before I was the announcer. So lots lot of, of history. history. Lots of history between these two, no doubt. Fighting all up and down the Gulf Coast. But right here, this happened. is the yeah. best of both of these men. This is the absolute peak of their careers here at Pro Wrestling 225. And it happened here. This town, Cecilia, right down the street. Look at this. It floats over. Very intentional. Yes. And this match is happening right here tonight. Absolutely. Well, that's me, I think, guys. Got right. a front face lock here on the champion. Main event anywhere else in the world. How about a gator roll right in the center of the ring? There's gators all over the place in Cecilia, you guys. Law needs to find that bottom rope to break it. And he needs a breather. He's got to regroup here. I think he's a little bit surprised. Brad. Brad. You know, Brad has been on such an emotional roller coaster with the pillar losing the tag team championships. I think Hunter Law maybe thought he was going to come into tonight and sort of beat down on a broken version of Dale Springs. But that's not Dale Springs. He's standing across from him in the ring. That's Brad Goodrich, and he's here to make a point at the expense of Hunter Law. I think you're exactly right. You can tell on the face of Hunter Law that time he exited the ring had nothing to do with mind games. He really needed that mental recheck. As he really slowly enters back into the ring. Brad's been around this country and back, man. So right. is Hunter. Both these guys have wrestled all over this country. Like I said, these guys are experts. So Bryce, listen, you too have been, been around a long time, seen some of the very best to ever do it. What 
does Hunter Law, what does Brad need to do to get the upper hand and really stand out as the man tonight? What do you think they need to do to accomplish that task? Well, okay, Brad already oh. has the advantage of the crowd, even though we're technically in Hunter's hometown. It, right. You know, right now, I think Hunter's got the, the technical ability down, but there you see it right there. If Brad gets Hunter to the ground, Brad can work in that technical aspect of this bout. Brad can get the W. If he keeps the action on the ground here, goes for the technical ability, I think Brad gets the W. But like I said, he's got the hometown crowd. I mean, even though we're in Hunter's hometown, more people came here to see Brad. And look at that. Did you see how he keeps moving to the side? Just wrenching in that side headlock even tighter as he moves those knees across. What did I say in the beginning of this, guys? The technical ability is really going to shine in this bout. We'll sink right here. Brad right, Goodrich. Lines him up. Hunter Law pushes him off just barely, and look at this, right back on the attack. So here's the thing, I mentioned earlier that Hunter Law was maybe needing to ride that first emotion away from Brad Goodrich, but it's Hunter Law who maybe will need to check his emotions as he gets more frustrated with this wrestling from Brad Goodrich. But as I say that, dangerous though. Brad moves out of the way at the last second there. I think you're right, look, Spencer. Frustration on the face of Law as he gets again put into that side headlock, whips Goodrich across. Oh! Hard Law shoulder down. tackle. The pillar. The pillar of Louisiana, no doubt about it. Law up and over, wait! Wow. Goodrich hangs on. Really smart move there, turns it over. Look at this, right to the face, there's the neck breaker. I'd call that something else if that was Dale Springs, but for Brad, it was just the tandem of moves that almost got the job done. <laughs> nice. Going all the way into his bag of tricks. Dale Springs, Brad Goodrich, whatever you want to call him, incredibly impressive. We may just be calling him champion before the night is done. Pace quickens. Back off the ropes. What? What's that? Wow. Did not expect to see that out of Brad tonight. That's more of Hunter's move set. That is movement for you. Movement. Movement. There it is. Yeah. I mean, it's in the name. Here's a fun fact for you. Dale Springs, the golf father. Brad Goodrich never played around a round of golf in his life. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a True. fact. I mean, it's kind of six here. Making a way for it. It's going to be worth the wait, Cecilia. Now that is out of the move set of Brad Goodrich. Yeah, not the purple nipple, no purple haze. Well, he likes purple and gold, big LSU baseball fan. He's been in every game this season. Sure has. Hard season, of course. Nice fun fact. Dale Springs' debut match happened in this building. Myself was on commentary. Did y'all hear that? Titty Twister over in Cecilia. Right over there <laughs> on the stage. Commentary table. Myself and Casey Unreal. Jones. Oh! Wow. Ooh. That hurt. Hunter Law hangs onto the rope and Brad's head just bounces oh. off the apron, followed up by a hard kick. I think the complexion of this match has shifted now. To say the least, man, Brad is in trouble here on the outside. Hunter Law checking to make sure he's still got two areolas. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I think you would hear that word. <laughs> I had it on my big car. <laughs> I've been sitting by Lana for a while. Uh, Hunter Law comes to the ring tonight without Purple Haze. Uh, we've already mentioned Brad came without Alex Braddock. So, a true singles contest. Wait a minute, guys. Not on the outside! Ooh. Suplex under the floor. Last year, that would have been illegal in the state of Louisiana. Good to see. No padding here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got both of his belts. He is the champion. Little mid-match celebration here for Hunter Law. Wow. Well, pretty good. Nice. Good behind us, guys. The champion. I don't know exactly what that did for him here in this one, but I mean, to be honest with you, he's still got champion's advantage, right? Brad stays down on the outside for 10 counts, and it looks like he's getting quite up there. Well, and how heartbreaking would it be for Brad Goodrich to come into Cecilia and lose by count out? Law. Hunter Law saying he's, Brad doesn't have it anymore. Wait a minute, here we go. 
Goodrich does make it into the ring before the count of 10. Just in time. But Law but makes him pay for it. Smelling blood in the water here. Wow. Trying to rock his way. Hey, man, he's always been a rocker. Into the victory here and, and always been event. confident. For sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Hard knee. Is that going to do it? No, Goodrich kicks out. A great main event here happening for the Movement Wrestling Championship on what's already been an incredible night here at Movement 6. Almost like a hammer lock here, holding on with his boot. Oh, man. oh no, he's got the wrist trapped. He will try to oh, no. No. This time he connects. That shades of old world of sport wrestling, British television. Absolutely. Right there. Absolutely. Like I said, Hunter destroys. Law. Yes. Hunter Law learned from the best. His trainer, known, Jay Lethal. For a while, he wore Jay Lethal's boots, if I'm not mistaken. An old pair of Jay Lethal's boots for a while. Traveled with him well. Spencer and I very familiar with the world of sport. Check out last match standing podcast covered a world of sport match in that one. Ball Rocco, come on, it's so good. Uh, Johnny Singh. That's come right. On. That's right. Best. Hunter Law lasering back in. Talking about nah, you know. Last match standing, guys. <laughs> Love the work you guys do. Great podcast. I was on there. You sure were. This hard side headlock, keeping Brad down, but just I mean. And you have to imagine here, and now you see it. Brad has the power advantage. There's no doubt about that. Able to stand up, create that separation. Ducks under here, gaining some momentum. Oh! Hard drop kick, slowing that momentum. Lateral press and a kick out. And you could hear the air almost immediately leave this building, which is so interesting, right? We, we've talked about this, Bryce. This is sort of Hunter's hometown. But this crowd is so firmly behind Brad Goodrich. Hunter born and raised right up the road in Arnonville. I mean, like I said, this is his hometown. His parents are in the crowd. Brother Brandon somewhere watching. I think I saw his parents boo Hunter Long, actually, just a few moments no. ago. Not the most popular man in the law household. Guys, a fun fact, another little bit of tidbit of history Full here. Of fun fact. Full of facts. This building right here, the Cecilia Junior High School Gymnasium. Yep. Hosted a match with his team, Ooh. Bryson Hunter, and the brother of Hunter Law, Brandon Law, right. versus WWE Hall of Famer, Rock and Roll Hall Express. Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll Express. Right here in this very building. Hunter Law, sorry, Brandon Law, Bryson Hunter versus the Rock and Roll Express. It's a lot to say. Listen, you happened, got there, though. Happened you got there. Yeah, wonderful match. It happened years ago. Pork Chop Cash was in the building, too, that night. We got another good one in front of us here tonight. Of course, this major Cecilia major junior, junior high. Cecilia Junior High, continuing the history of this wonderful venue. I hope to see Pro Wrestling 225 coming back to this area a lot more in the future. It's going to be great. You got a lot of good wrestling history here. It's nice to be here. Absolutely, and this merger with Ruby. Oh! Only going to lead to bigger and better things as Hunter Law destroying the spine of Brad Goodrich and throws him into the turnbuckle. I'm very proud of himself. Hunter needs to stop playing to the crowd. The crowd's not on his side. He just needs to get in there and wrestle and get the job done if he wants to win. This is your time to do it. This crowd paid to see Brad. They're going to keep cheering for Brad. They're going to get an emotion side of Brad. Well, Landon, do you, do you think that, that the fact that the Pro Wrestling 225 family here in Cecilia is against him sort of pisses him off? I don't know that it necessarily does. I think Hunter Law feeds off of that negativity. Hunter Law has been in these situations with oh, 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 Piney! Spidey on the Piney! Oh my God, what a spine buster from Brad Goodrich. Holy shit! Surprise he didn't send Hunter Law straight through the ring. Arn Anderson would be proud. That was incredible, guys. I mean, Arn Anderson was in this building. At one point, I mean, right, Bryce? Everybody's, everybody's worth in this building. Are you kidding me? Nearly everybody's slammed wrestle here. Hunter Law through the ring. And, and this is exactly what he needed. This match has basically reset. And it is anyone's ball game for the Movement Wrestling Championship. Brad is lost. Didn't expect that. Changes direction. A pair of shoulder tackles. Shades of one, John Cena. Are you okay? You can't see me. Oh, are we gonna see it? No way. No way. 
<laughs> I can't do it. Oh. Oh! Oh my! Maybe Brad Goodrich has played golf! Nice! Oh, little five! Knuckle! Shuffle! Trademark. Yeah. What a tribute. That was incredible. This crowd loved that. And all of it is under par. <laughs> all of it. Under par, but above you all. Shoulder into the midsection. Nice. Kick to the back of the skull. You hear that one? You don't see Springs go to the top very often. Nope. Good thing this is Brad Goodrich. Elbow to the face of Hunter Law. That diving reverse elbow sending all of that power into the face of Hunter Law. And good Lord, Hunter Law is seeing stars right now. Listen, Listen to Cecilia. Yeah, really. Brad from Prairieville. Whole crowd came to see him. The kid with the dream. With the dream. Up, Brain Buster. I is his dream going to come true? Is he going to win the movement title right here tonight? I think that just about does it for Connor Wall. There's no way I see Connor Wall continue. And a kick out. Believe it, Bryce. Connor Wall is still in this thing. And California, guys. You couldn't get any closer to it. You have to think if Brad Goodrich was going to be able to put more of his weight on Hunter Law, it might have been enough to get the job done. But instead, Law able to get that shoulder up, and this incredible main event continues. Listen to the 225 family. Let's go, Brad, they say. Listen to these fans chanting, let's go, Brad. Some guy's got Brad's name painted on his chest. Old Brad family. Law fighting his way out there. I love the Brads. Ooh. Oh, look at this, backslide. Oh, technical ability. But a kick out. Oh. Impressive from Law to retain. No, this time Brad Goodrich kicks out. Back and forth we go for the movement championship. The question of this fight, who wants it more, guys? That's it, we've made it there. These guys are spent. Who's got the extra reserves? Who's got more? These guys have been through a lot already. But only one man gets to walk out with the movement wrestling championship. Law oh, charging oh. Goodrich. But an elbow up just at the last moment. Whoa! Dragon screws him out of the corner, holds on to it, rolls him right into it. What Look a technician. At this. What a technician, Hunter Law. And this is an attempt. Who saw that coming? How does he do it? I'm lost, guys. One of the very best. I told you. In that ring. I, I told you. you. That's what movement wrestling is all about. Went for a super kick. Goodrich avoids it. Almost caught Law off guard there. Just a count of two. Trips him up again. Right back to his mission. This time it's an STF. And Brad in the dead center of the ring. It was Brad Goodrich earlier paying tribute to a little 16-time champion, but now Law, a little bit of his own there with an STF. Is Goodrich gonna tap out? The Pro Wrestling 225 family trying to will Goodrich to the ropes. He's nearly there, he got it. Got it, gotta break it. Senior official DJ Petrie calling the action on a big main event tonight. Absolutely. Brad Goodrich, Hunter Law, movement championship on the line. This crowd's been hot all night, guys. They have been really wild. They've been exciting. Oh, we're passing out. It's uh, it's it's been an extremely crazy night tonight here at Pro Wrestling. Cecilia has been very hot. welcoming here. Exactly. All the more welcome. You know, 225 should come back here in the future. I think it's going to happen. Ooh. Law talking trash, throwing fists straight to the face. Whoa. Law telling him to quit. He's laying down the law. Real intensity here from the champion. Done playing games. Law set out 
with one goal. That was to completely kill the rest of the confidence that Brad Goodrich have. Took everything from him. And he may. Whoa. No, Goodrich. Nobody oh. out of the way. Oh, super kick. And Brad goes down hard. He may be out. I haven't seen off of his head in a while. And it might spell the end for Goodrich as Hunter Law now taking his time climbing to the top. Hunter Law up there measuring the distance. He's got to fly to reach Brad. Here we go, guys. High flying maneuver coming up. Oh! Oh my god! His knees! Got the knees him. up! Got the knees up! Is that it? New champion! No! Law took too much time on the top. Goodrich plants him. But it I don't. looks like his knee gave out. Is he going to be able to crawl into the cover? Like a double springboard pedigree. Oh, what? what? Goodrich, with the knee buckling, took too much time to make his way back to Hunter Law, which was just enough for Law to be able to muster up the strength to kick out. And this match, yet again, continues, guys. Did Alexa say there was a 60 minute time limit? 60 minute time limit. We're going to be here for a while, guys. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. Brad Goodrich calling for one more time. Could it just be one more to put away Hunter Law? Go. Hold whoa, on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, our official. DJ. Oh, no. Oh, somebody check on DJ. Somebody check on DJ. Hunter Law intentionally pulls DJ Petrie into the action. And now our official is down, and Goodrich needs to Hunter's look out. Hunter's got the belt. Misses him. Oh! Goodrich. That knee, that knee keeps giving him so many problems. But now he's got the cover. But he's got no official. It would have been three. We have a new movement champion. Come on. There was another referee here earlier. Come on. Wake up, DJ. Brad, of course, trying to stir. He doesn't know where the hell he is. Official right DJ now. Petrie. One. For the title. No! Brad Goodrich should be movement wrestling champion right now. You know, you gotta admire Brad. Brad's not upset or frustrated. He understands. He just looked over at DJ and said, listen, are you okay? What do we need to do? Right. Well, he needs him to win this match, exactly. right? Exactly. You don't want to get on the bad side of the official. Someone like Hunter would have busted at him. What the hell's your problem? Count faster. I thought it was three. Goodrich climbing back to the top here. Hunter Law meets him with the right hand. By the way, guys, Brad wearing Nike golf shoes. Shades of Dale's move. Just a little bit of him in there. So many incredible moments on the journey for Brad in his career. Hunter Law lands on his feet. Uh oh, oh, kicks him out. Dangerous, dangerous position here for Brad. Taking his legs out from under him. Oh no. Sends Goodrich straight into the canvas. We gonna see it. Corner assist cutter. Off with his head. Dangerous move off of his head. Coming off up. His head. Go. Oh, oh this time. My God. Law connects. We got every bit of it on that one. Here we go. The cover to retain the title. Law retains. What a match, guys. Brad Goodrich. Sign of disrespect there. Walked in to movement six. Knowing that he was going to leave everything he had as Hunter Law 
continues the disrespect. Hunter Law turned the kid with a dream into a man, perhaps with a nightmare. As Law walks out with both championships still firmly in his grasp, the question becomes, what is left of Brad Goodrich? Taking everything from him. He's taking everything from him. Took his confidence, took his titles. Might have taken all the heart he had left tonight as well. Hunter Law rocks and rolls to the next town. For Landon Corbin and Bryce Boudreaux, I'm Spencer Hunt. We will see you next time on Pro Wrestling 225 Unleashed. The pillar stands strong. What a moment. Alex Braddock goes straight to Brad, tells him, this is not it. Your journey is not over. Will we see one? more from these two. You think that you can stop me? Nobody can stop me! Double Jeopardy, Ladder Match, and Gonzalez, both of my titles hanging above the ring. It does not matter. None of this matters! Wes Warren, I will rip your cold-blooded heart out of your chest, and I will hand deliver it to your little ginger Avenger girlfriend personally. I will finally exterminate that cockroach known as Braxton Hunter. And Corey Constantine, I haven't forgot. I'll never forget. Vengeance will be mine at double jeopardy once and for all. And as for our illustrious leader, Brett Ian Landry, you want a war? I'll go nuclear on your ass too, and if you don't believe me, 
Ask your boy about me. It does not matter. I am the most prolific performer around today. And at double jeopardy, I will prove why. Four ways, five ways, six ways, general managers over boys. They all need more coal loss. <laughs>